About two years ago, we were approached by a group of surgeons and medical doctors from uh, Piedmont Hospital. And what they wanted was a 3D printed heart well. This is about the treatment called TAVA, uh, transcatheter aortic valve replacement. So this is for patients with severe aortic stenosis. So it's like a very severe and narrowed aortic valve. We think the 3D printing can play a really good role in solving that problem. What uh, Piedmont wants to do is to use this 3D printed valve as a test piece that uh, can maybe uh, validate their selection of the stent that are put into the patient. They want to make sure that uh, they, they select the right size, they try the right location so that uh, they can optimize their surgery. We started to design some small samples. We find that we can sort of um, mimic the human tissue string stiffening property. So for the biomaterial, when you stretch it, it becomes more, more and more difficult. But for the polymer material, it will get more, more and more relaxed. So when you stretch it, it becomes easier and easier. So to overcome this kind of uh, difference, we designed a stiff uh, metal structures inside of the, of the, the soft material. We're printing a lot of the uh, heart valves, mimicking you know, different patients, and then we use a, a new uh, like machine learning techniques to uh, uh, basically extract useful data from the uh, past experience or lessons. So next step is that we are going to use printed electronics technologies like aerosol jet printing to print the sensor directly onto the, the wall of the valve. And when we, when we do a flow test like, uh, like this, we can basically have the, have the signal, uh, the, the string signal uh, in real time. So it's very exciting to actually say our ideas get some real use in the, in the real world.